top of the blocks, place the rotor bottom protection plate with the outer lip facing up. Next, place the naked rotor. Align the holes with those on the rotor bottom protection plate. Next, loosely fasten the M16 by 50 CSK bolts, M16 flat washer and an M16 spring washer with the correct nut through the aligned holes to hold the plate in position. Next, place the bottom wear plates from the inside of the rotor in the slots provided. Take special note of the orientation of the wear plates in this video. Now, insert the trail plates into the slots provided within the rotor. These plates can only be inserted in one way, with the shorter end at the bottom. Follow up by slotting the top wear plates in the spaces provided on the rotor between the trail plates. Insert the cavity blocks in the cutouts at the walls of the rotor. Cavity blocks can be inserted in any orientation. Now, insert the tips into the cutouts at the discharge ports of the rotor. Take note of the markings on the back of each tip, indicating the orientation of the tip to the rotor. It is important to make sure that the tips are inserted correctly. Now, drop in the 12-hole plate and line the holes with those on the rotor bottom plate and fasten using M20 by 50 set screws. Then, place the center distribution ring in the bottom of the rotor. On top of the 12 hole plate, place the conical and insert the M24 by 70 centralizing bolt, which will be fastened to the bearing cartridge later on. Next, Place the rotor top protection plate and align the holes with those on the rotor top plate. Insert the M16 by 50 CSK bolt from the top. Secure this with the M16 flat washer, M16 spring washer and correct nut. Now ensure that both rotor bottom and top protection plate are securely fastened. Now, place the feed eye ring on top of the rotor top plate. Insert the M12 by 35 socket head cap screws and fasten. A lifting plate is supplied with every new ore crusher rotor.